Our first guest has acted in over 40 movies and 50 TV shows. Please welcome my friend, Don Johnson. Hi, Ellen. Hi, pal. I'm so happy to see you on the show. I mean, it's, it's exciting. This is fun for me. I, I, I'm a fan of your show, and I, um, you know, when I get a chance, I, I tune in and I, I watch you. You always make me laugh, and uh, you're still the funniest woman on television, let's face it. That's very sweet of you to say, Don. You're still the most handsome man on television. Um, <laughs> so we were in a movie together. They reminded me of this in, a, in the meeting. I had completely forgotten that we were in a movie, and it was 1998. Yes. Mm hmm And I, I recall, it was, the movie was called Goodbye Lover, and uh, I recall that you had, uh, had made a choice to, um, to, to be frumpy uh, in, in the movie, and I thought, well, that's brave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, she was... And so... Yeah, she was please. an angry cop, and she, was, she, was, she had worked way too long. She was tired, and I just thought, you know, she just let herself go. I wore these, like droopy breasts and kind of like a belly and I walked with a limp because I was like so tired and yeah. I, 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 I don't know anything about the details. I'm just, <laughs> I'm going to place the disclaimer right there. But I do remember the corn dogs. Yes, I ate, I ate a lot of corn dogs in one scene. I think they're showing pictures of me eating a lot of corn dogs. Um, Hey, uh, when I read 40 TV shows and 50 movies, that's crazy. And 2020 was your 50th anniversary in the business. That's... And still going strong. I know, crazy, huh? Yeah. Uh, it kind of felt like a, I, I blinked and all of a sudden it was like five decades. You, you are so known all over the world. We were to get... Was it Italy? Where were we on a boat that people were talking about how handsome you were? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, we were in Italy, and I think, if I recall correctly, you and I were shopping, and we were in this, um, we were, uh, we walked into a clothing store, and the, and the, the Italian sales ladies were very excited to see us, and uh, one of them um, looked up to me and said, uh, Mr. Johnson, congratulations on the way you look. Yes, yes, that's what it was. I was, I was trying to remember how they phrased it. It was congratulations on the way you look. That's wonderful. That's a, you, you, you are handsome, you are talented, you have uh, really good genes. Your kids are uh, all talented, obviously. And now I hear your son is a, like a really good basketball player. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's gifted. He's the one on the uh, left over there. Are you one of those people that scream at, at him from the stands? Do you go to the games and yell? Uh, yeah, well, um, I've been cured of that. Um, I, I used to be that dad who was screaming out to him, don't move your feet, defense is with your feet, feet, move your feet. And one time I was, scre I was screaming his name, I was going, Jasper, 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 and he turned to me and he goes, what? <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay, I guess this is my cue to shut up. Yeah, that's what uh, Andy just talks to me like I'm not on television. I'll just be talking <laughs> and Andy will just start saying something to me. Um, so I want to hear about, you're doing yoga now, which does not surprise me because you're in great shape um, and you really do take care of yourself, but what, you have somebody come into the house or how are you doing that? You know, we, we're, we, Kelly, uh, my wife Kelly, you know Kelly, um, uh, she, she's been doing, when the, when, the, when the pandemic started, we, we made a vow to each other to do something good for ourselves every day. And so I started uh, meditating in earnest every day. I was, I've always been a practitioner, but, I, but doing it every day is, has some extraordinary benefits that, I, that I've reaped over the uh, course of the past year. And she started doing yoga. And a few months into it, I saw how how amazing her body was looking, and how uh, uh, and I said, hmm, maybe I should maybe I should get in on this. And at first, I, I joined her class, which was all women, and um, I didn't want to be on camera. But after I got pretty good at it, I said, hey, you can go ahead and include me in this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're good at it. I, I've gotten pretty darn good at it, but um, but uh, I, I, I don't think I'm going to make a career out of it. I'm not I'm not a, a bona fide yogi yet. Are you Are you flexible though? Very. 
Oh, amazingly well, so. That helps. That helps that you're flexible. Yeah. I, I'm going to start doing yoga. I, I decided uh, not too long ago, and uh, I haven't yet, but I will. I decided that I will. <laughs> I'm just. That's, that's a good first step. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's just deciding. Um, and then, then the next thing is I'll do it for sure. Um, all right, Don, we're taking a break, and uh, we'll be back and uh, talk some more. We'll be back. We're back with Don Johnson. That is from his new show, Keenan. Um, this is your very first sitcom, which I'm surprised about, but I'm glad you're doing it, and I love Keenan. Tell everybody about the show. Um, well, uh, Keenan, the, the, the marketing line is it takes three men to raise two children. Those two little girls, uh, I play their, their uh, uh, maternal grandfather, and Keenan, of course, is their father. And, um, and then Chris Red plays uh, uh, Keenan's brother and manager, and um, us three wackos are charged with taking care of those two gorgeous little girls who are so funny and so full of love and so full of energy that you come in in the morning and you just go, no matter what condition you're in, you take a look at them and you're going, oh, life is just great. And <laughs> I don't have to think about any of that crazy stuff that, <laughs> that was going on. And we're having a lot of fun. And you're wearing some very uh, bright colors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, my character is a, um, a horn player. He's a, um, uh, a, a, you know, traveled in bands and toured in bands and stuff like that. And all of the, I, I have some experience in that. And I've noticed over the years that horn players are colorful people and wear colorful clothes, sometimes clothes that don't match, that don't, you know, polka dots with uh, checkers and things like that. And so I adopted this sort of street fashion thing. And the benefit of it is that I wear sweatpants the whole time. That's, that's a good choice. That's a really good choice when you're working that you're wearing sweatpants. Smart, <laughs> smart. Hey, you're working on something right now that fans are gonna be excited about. Tell everybody what you're doing. Uh, well, we're, um, we're in uh, heavy prep for a reboot of Nash Bridges. And uh, thank you. So, so uh, we, we find Nash uh, some years later, and uh, Cheech is going to come back and join me, and uh, uh, Jeff Perry, that's the gentleman on the right. And uh, I've got, uh, we've got a pretty exciting show that we're prepping in San Francisco right now. So that's amazing, Don. It's a, it's a shame you can't find work because you really, <laughs> after 50 years, just really, just really not a not a year goes by that you don't have a project. It's amazing. So good for you. I, I'm just I, I'm just I'm just struggling along here. Yes. Congratulations <laughs> on the way you look. Um, <laughs> Keenan airs Tuesdays at 8:30. I hope to see you soon, Don. My love to Kelly. Thank Thanks so much. I love you. All right. Bye, Don. We'll be back.